And as we celebrate Black History Month, News 6 remembers one of the all-time greatest players, Jackie Robinson. News 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona is at the ballpark in Daytona Beach where 73 years ago Jackie made his spring training debut with the MLB. On March 17, 1946, Jackie Robinson stepped onto this ball field. That day, Daytona Beach made history, becoming the first city in the South to accept integrated baseball during a time segregation laws were strictly enforced. They proved here in Daytona Beach that blacks and whites could peacefully watch integrated baseball, which was historic at the time. In 1946, cities like DeLand, Sanford, and Jacksonville prohibited Jackie Robinson to play in their ballparks. Historian Bill Schumann tells us the Daytona Beach City Commission ignored laws of segregation and with support from the founder of Bethune-Cookman College, Robinson made his spring training debut with the Montreal Royales, a minor league team with the Brooklyn Dodgers organization. That day, both blacks and whites cheered him on. This was a milestone in sports and civil rights history. So Daytona Beach stood alone, and it was a political decision. Technically, it was against the law for any type of integration in the South. And what is unique about this is this happened without a federal court order. The ballpark located off Orange Avenue has several images of Robinson, including a statue of him giving a child a baseball. The theme of this statue is Jackie Robinson passing on his contribution to future generations. He was a one-of-a-kind athlete, adored by thousands. There were so many things that were amazing and heroic about Jackie Robinson. Number one, his mental game. He could concentrate when he needed to, and he was a tremendous natural athlete. Around the stadium, you'll also see probably one of the most impactful images. Here's a picture showing black baseball fans segregated from the rest of the stands. Today, a replica of that area, from where they had to watch the game, stands in the same place. Only now, it serves as a picnic area with tables and benches. George Bates was a bat boy. He met the iconic player when he was 12 years old. This video from the National Baseball Hall of Fame on March 17, 1946, shows Bates handing Jackie a bat. It was amazing to start with it. I was going to get to be that boy for the team I follow. I remember him as quiet, not saying nothing to nobody, and he just went about his business. I knew the controversy was going on and all, but it was real, real peaceful here, really. This story is not just about baseball. This is a story about civil rights. It's a story about how people fans accepted integrated baseball. This historical field is over 100 years old. It wasn't until 1989 that it was renamed the Jackie Robinson Ballpark and Museum. In Daytona Beach, I'm Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9.